Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Ben's Vlog. Now, today we're going to talk about current transformer. We are going to talk about how it going to install properly and we are going to troubleshoot it also the right connections. If uh, there is some failure, we are going to talk about that. For example, if there is some negative kilowatt, negative amper, uh, so we are going to talk about that there. So let's go and follow me. So we are going to start troubleshooting. So guys, I'm here in our generator sets. So now we can start explaining how we are going to install the CT properly and correct connection. So let's go at the back. So I can explain it to you. Okay. So yeah, I will make it the door open so we can see and the light is uh, coming uh, good. So we can see inside, I think. Yes. Yeah, so I will move like this. So let's see. So now in here, this is the city that I'm talking to you. So here are the city. You can see. Did you see it? Uh, did you see it? That is the city. So, okay. This is the city. Now, I will explain it to you, the connections. Yes, you see the arrow is there. Supposed to be the arrow is going to your load side. So, this is uh, the P2 and the P1. So, meaning to say P1 is input and P2 is output. Output going to your load side. So, then the connections supposed to be s1 and s2 as you can see there is s1 and s2 so if you connect s2 that's supposed to be common connections and s1 should be your line so it's the same order in your uh, three city so in your line one line two line three it's the same order of your connections and your positions of the city now for example this one is 100 kva so uh, you have to calculate the uh, full load current this one so in order to make uh, accurate reading so this one here is 200 by 5 amps so that is the current ratios we're using here because this is a hundred kva since this one is the full load of this one is around 139 so uh, that is in the resistive load so and the induction load that is higher than that so this include the computation that one so we put it 200 so it is uh, capable for that okay so you get the connections so now we're uh, we're going to do the load tests now since this one is uh, correct uh, correct connections so i will show you to start the engine and we're going, going we're going to put the load so you can see the actual reading if it is okay so let's go there so i will put only around uh, 30 percent or 20 percent for that so i just only to show you if the reading is correct so since this one is correct in solutions so i'm going to start the engine start
so you see I put it around 60% of load so I can show you the reading of our city it is correct so meaning we see that it is correct so now what will happen if I'm going to make the connections uh, reverse so what will happen so sometimes it is happen to the site sometimes it happen for us if we are the one who do the rewiring for example uh, we need to rewire the, the city because some are defective we need to rewire sometimes we're doing that one mistakenly so i will show you that so you can see what will happen to the reading so let's go back and the other side okay we're here back so now i'm going to change the connections what will happen so i will put the line into the common this one is a line so this one is common i will put it all so what will happen to the rest of the reading so that's it so, so now we change the connection so we're going to start and put the load back if the reading is still the same so now we're going to start back the engine so let's put it that in the uh, okay so i will start again and again i will put it around 60 percent of load so start So now as you can see what is the reading so it is become a uh, negative kilowatt because the condition is uh, reversely so meaning the reading will become reverse polarity so also it will give feedback to the module that the reading will become uh, negative kilowatt because it is reverse connections okay so that is the technical terms that I have so let's try another one what will happen okay so at this time I will start the generator but we remove the line one uh, city connections what will happen uh, do you think what will happen so I will put also the 60% of load so what will happen to the reading if if we encounter like that so i will start it again i will start it back so we can see the actual reading okay now we'll start and So 
as you can see the line one have no reading so the percentage of your kilowatt or the kilowatt load is lesser than you think i put it only already the same value the same amount of the load but the value of the kilowatt here is only around 40 percent load but the total i put is around 60 percent you know why because the reading is uh, not enough for the total loads because one of your city is not working and one of your city is not giving you the accurate or not giving you the correct amount of the amperage so that's why it is lazier uh, kilowatt as you see and the same with the amps it's uh, also uh, low value of corresponds reading okay so i will put it back the wiring again and then we we're going to start back okay okay guys uh, also make it sure that your connections with the module you know in the back of your module so make it sure the connections is in the correct position for example this is in your line connections with your city this is supposed to be line one and this is for also the line one so line two this is also for the line two so line three is supposed to be it is also connected from your line three and of course the common is supposed to be you are connected and the common connections either here 41 or 40 it is uh, the same value you can get so for example if this one will become reversed it's the same value you can get it will become a uh, negative kilowatt so make it sure that and always uh, do the visions uh, visual inspections if uh, there is some uh, uh, trouble like that negative kilowatt uh, sometimes it's unbalanced load so you have to check that one by one in every city if it is connected in the proper connections okay guys let's uh, uh, do the rest of it because I explained it to you all the connections and the proper wiring so I think it is okay so now I will put it back all the wiring back and the original connections so we are done on it okay so so that's it I explained it to you all the possibilities that the city can make some problems city also can make you in trouble so in that way we are going to troubleshoot it in that uh, manner we are going to see uh, in the module what is uh, the the problem what is uh, the the reading they can give you for the line one line two line three if there is abnormality so you can see directly in the module if there is some failure okay so by the way that's it for today and don't forget to like and share also watch the vlog so you can understand what is the next and what is uh, the correct uh, installation for that so thank you for watching and see you again in my next vlog.